Hello, we are a group of students from Crescent Valley High School presenting our project, The Small Utility Vehicle, as part of the 2024 Congressional App Challenge. The primary objective of this project was to learn more about integrating a diverse set of software and hardware components to build a complete system. Some key technologies we gained experience with include WebRTC, the React framework, and WebSockets. Now, moving on to some of the target use cases of this vehicle, by leveraging the compact nature of the platform and flexibility of the camera system, the SUV is best suited for tradesmen and craftsmen seeking to access and scout difficult to reach or otherwise hazardous locations at a physical job site. For the small utility vehicle, we seamlessly integrated a variety of technologies relating to both software and hardware. On the app side of the vehicle, we use Python to code the WebSocket server that receives and processes controller inputs from the web interface. The web interface was created using JavaScript and the React framework and are both used to display and send controller inputs to the WebSocket server and display the camera feed on the car. On the hardware side, the computer hosting the above app components locally is a Raspberry Pi, which connects various motors and modules together. All the electronics are mounted to a chassis made up of multiple layers. These layers were created using CAD and printed using a 3D printer. The 3D printed components, electronics, and software seamlessly integrate to create a highly functional robotic vehicle. We'll now demonstrate the car in action. All functions of the vehicle are carried out using an intuitive web interface where you can connect a gamepad controller and view the live camera stream from the robot. If we were to continue this project, we would most likely try to move to a more efficient JavaScript framework, as React tends to consume large amounts of RAM while running. Additionally, we can improve the housing and wiring of the parts by enclosing the electronics and moving to a custom PCB with a Raspberry Pi chip rather than a plug-and-play Raspberry Pi. Thank you for listening to our presentation.